Plaquemines Parish, Louisiana. Twilight's the best time to find oil, if you know where to look. It's this weathered oil. That orange it's glow, that's oil. Like Highlighted under the ultraviolet light of researcher Ben Dubansky from Louisiana State University. And that's all oil. Oh, yeah, look at all that. And on Barataria Bay's northern tip, the dried oil was everywhere, clumped in soft marshland. I could take you to 100 sites just like this. Find the same thing? Sure. Even today, Louisiana officials spotlighted more oil. They say that this is acceptable. Hoping to shame BP into continuing its cleanup. Remember last summer? These images stuck like oil. A preventable spill, the worst in history. Four Gulf State coastlines smeared for months. By last June, the threat was easy to spot. This is so heavy, I can barely lift it. But 10 months later, whatever oil is left is harder to find like these tar balls that washed up on this beach. And scientists strongly disagree about the spill's lasting impact on the Gulf. That river of oil, roughly 200 million gallons. Government scientists estimate 29% of it dispersed. 25% was recovered or burned off in these dramatic pictures we showed you last summer. 23% evaporated or dissolved, leaving 23%, roughly 46 million gallons, that reached shore or stayed in the water. I don't think we're going to see any massive impacts as we go forward. Ed Overton's an LSU environmental scientist. He believes the Gulf's recovering faster than expected, from its wildlife to its complex ecosystem. Sunbaked oil left on land will degrade in the next few years, he says, and in deep waters, any remaining oil has fallen below detectable levels. All we're doing now is postulating. It may be an educated guess, but it's still a guess. But Samantha Joy is much more pessimistic. It did look like a gra graveyard. Last December, this University of Georgia marine scientist led a deep dive expedition near the runaway well. She's now studying 450 core samples, many of them thick sludge smothering the seafloor. The people who live on the Gulf Coast know that there's a problem. It's really fallen off the radar and, and people aren't, aren't thinking about it because they, they feel like they've been told that everything's fine when it, it most certainly isn't. So how bad is it? No one knows for sure because there's never been a spill this massive in an ecosystem so complex and fragile. Everyone agrees on one point. Spill anxiety here will last for years to come. Katie? Mark Strassman, Mark, thank you.